number one Iron Age booty daddy. Home cooked meals, a clean house, motherly instincts, and fidelity seem to be a threat to the blue haired land whales that want to become boys. And we're going to talk about it today. Ladies and gentlemen, for the past few days, I've been hearing about the viral trend on TikTok known as the trad wife TikTokers. Now, the New York Post has a great article out right now where they went out and they actually talked to a few TikTok personalities about this trad wife trend. But more importantly, I want to use that as a springboard to have a larger conversation because I feel that it's important because I like big conversations right? Big conversations are fun. But never forget, ladies and gentlemen, it would be absolutely fantastic. If you like what I'm doing here, please subscribe to the channel and like this video. All right, I do love talking about a lot of the things happening in our culture right now, whether it's books, movies, things that are going on on TikTok, things that are going on with families. So ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoy what I'm doing here and welcome to A Drink With Crazy. If it's your first time, I promise, I promise I'll be gentle. My chat, not so much. My chat's not gentle. Don't just, it's just, I'm gentle. They're not. They're, they're... You'll find out if you subscribe. So subscribe to find out how the chat is. And over here on the New York Post, we have TikTok's viral trad wife trend. Accused of romanticizing an era where sexism and racism ruled. <sighs> New York Post. I know why you did it. And I have already read this article, so I'm not going to go all the way through and read the entire article, but I will give you the summation of my thoughts here. But just, just to get into it, to wet your whistle to know what I'm talking about, donning elaborate dresses, fasting on an apron around their waist and popping in their finest pearl earrings, or at least some iteration of pearls, for another round of household chores or cooking more and more young women are following the footsteps of the quintessential mid-century housewife thanks to the latest TikTok trend. But while some women are eager to shirk at all the hustle and bustle of today's corporate world and channel Barbara <laughs> Billingsley as June Cleaver, others are none too happy with the trend. The new trend for submissive women has a dark heart and history, reads one headline from The Guardian. An article from Hype Bay slapped the videos as disturbing, writing, they typically feature a cis straight white woman longing for the 50s, an era where some women could opt out of participating in the corporate working world and be stay-at-home mothers instead. Now, reading through the rest of this article, which again, I'm not gonna, but I've already read through the article. And essentially, here's what's happening. On TikTok, there are plenty of women out there who are showing off their love of being stay-at-home mothers, right? They stay home, they cook, they clean, their men are out at work, and they are living a good life. At least that's what social media leads you to believe. And you know what? Let's take it on its face right here. And I have a little bit of, you know... I, I have an anecdote to share about this. But it would seem that women opting out of the workforce and trying to stay home and take a more what we would consider a traditional role, right? Being a homemaker seems to be a threat to what a lot of women view as what womanhood is. Now, lately, especially since the 1960s and 70s during the sexual revolution, the homemaker has been slowly eroded away, and women have been told and taught that you can go and you can suck and, you know, do other things as much as you want and be just like the guys, or what the perception of guys are, right? Let's, let's, not, let's not mince words here. That's simply a perception. Now, these women on TikTok are doing trad wife videos, right? And they do ham it up to a certain extent. They're putting on the flower dresses, not my cup of tea, and they're showing off how they cook, they bake, and they do all these things to take care of the house, and they're happy with their lives. Now, why is this such a threat to so many women out there who are saying that these women are trying to take women back to the dark ages? Well, from what I read in the article is that many, many women out there are not in fact trying to take women back to the dark ages. They're simply just trying to live their best life, right? Living their best life and doing the things that they enjoy. They happen to enjoy staying at home and they happen to like cooking and they happen to like doing these things while their husband goes out, makes the money and then comes home to a happy household. 
Well, the problem is, is that we know that the mentality that has been thrust upon the U.S. population since the 1970s, well, and even earlier, but let's it really, you really kicked into gear in the 1970s, is that the household isn't a good place. They've been trying to destroy it for for decades at this point. It goes on to say in the article that these women, the trad wife women of TikTok, have come out and they're they're racists and white supremacists, and that tag has been invaded by the absolute crazies of the right, the extremists, which there was actually a few TikTokers who did use the trad wife moniker. They don't dress up in the in the 50s gowns and do their hair all 50s style, and they don't do it for show. But they do like to stay home, they do like to be mothers at home, and they do like to cook and clean. For instance, I have my own trad wife, although she's not your typical 50s trad wife. No, I in fact found a big titty goth girl when I was uh, 19, and I made her a big titty goth wife. And over the years through our relationship, she has actually told me that she never thought that anybody would care for her in the way that I guess that I do, and give her children and a home and want to protect her right? And that's the other side of this. Many of these young women out here saying women are, oh, they just want to be submissive to their men. Why would these women want to be submissive to their men? No, it's not being submissive. It's knowing one's role and critical role in the family. Okay. My job as a man is to wake up and do my best that I can do every single day to provide for my wife and children. I wake up at four o'clock in the morning. I make sure that it doesn't matter how tired I am. The day does not stop for anyone. Wake up at four o'clock in the morning. I get ready. I make the actually my wife prepares the coffee the night before. I press the button and get it ready to go. I grab my lunch that my lovely wife has made for me and I go off to work for anywhere from 10 to 12 hours a day. And then I come home and then I do my best to try to build this here. I also make sure to spend a fair amount of time with my wife and children. I come home, my wife is homeschooling our kids and she's taking care of them. She's cooking dinner. She's playing games with them. She's teaching them how to read. She's showing them the facts of life, going through, raising chickens, tending to the animals and teaching our children valuable lessons in life. The fact of the matter is, is if I could be a stay at home dad with my kids and with my wife and have this awesome life and be a part of their schooling more, I would. But for some reason, this lifestyle seems to be a threat to those who believe, no, everybody has to work. You have to work. And I believe that this comes from the idea of having stuff and things, right? The American dream turned from something of building yourself up and creating a better tomorrow than you have today into stuff and things and consumerism. Now... When you have somebody who stays at home, and my wife, she does have a job. She, you know, she's, uh, as we've gotten older, she wanted to go out and work, and she does have a job. I don't keep her at home all the time, but our children are our primary focus. My wife has a stay-at-home job now. She's able to do some online stuff for her boss. But why is it such a threat? Is it because we don't need the stuff and things that other people do? Is it because you think that the gratification in life comes from not fulfilling a purpose for others, which is what I do, which is what my wife does. Our purpose in life is for our children. Do you not have children? Are the women out there saying that this is absolutely crazy? They're trying to bring back a dark era for women where racism and, and all this stuff was a thing simply because they don't live their life for others. Or is there an ulterior motive here? Is the demonization of the trad wife movement on TikTok something that is being done simply to make sure that the status quo, the way that it has been for many years, stays the same? Is it done because they are trying to eviscerate the role of women in the household and keep it that way? Keep it under the boot of taxation and under the boot of a boss. You see, the thing is, most people don't believe this anymore, but I do believe this. A woman's role is in the home. Why is it in the home? Because the most important thing on the planet is in the home. And that's the next generation. 
those who are going to grow up, those who are going to sculpt and create the new world, the world of the future. It was once in our history that we trusted the women in our lives to stay at home and sculpt that future and create the minds that were going to take us in. And years ago, they said, no, women can't do that. Women aren't smart enough to do that. They're not strong enough to sculpt the future. We have to leave that to government schooling. We have to send them to schools. We have to, oh, and then guess what, women? Because you're no longer important enough to sculpt the future and raise the next generation. Guess what? Go to work. Make some taxes. Buy some things, right? That will replace, that will replace your valuelessness that we just gave you. So ladies and gentlemen, I do hope that you didn't mind this little bit of a rant from me, but never forget what they took from women. Oh, they gave, they gave women an importance. They put them in a job. They let them make money because they only value stuff and things. Whereas a lot of the trad wives out there, although the, the 1950s get up, all right, that's a little dumb. But the trad wives out there that are raising their kids, cooking and cleaning, and providing a happiness in the household, well, those women are doing a more important job, in my view, than any woman out there who bows down to the corporate overlords. Because my kids are the next generation. My kids are a part of the world of the future. And my wife, she's making it happen. So ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you liked this video. And if you do, I would absolutely love it if you guys would subscribe and hit that like button for me. But more importantly than either of those things, I would love to see you guys comment down below and let me know what you guys think about this video. It'd be absolutely fantastic for you guys to comment down below and then join me on Sundays. Why? Because on Sundays, I dedicate a special live stream to the people who comment on my channel. I make sure to go through and I, at this point in time, with as small as my channel is, I get to read all of the comments on the channel and you guys get to see my reactions to it. I get to have a conversation with you and if you're down in the live chat, well, if I read your comment wrong, you can put me on notice right there in the live chat and I'll interact and read that too. It's called Sunday Coffee. It's at 11 a.m. Central, and I hope to see you there. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for checking out A Drink With Crazy. And as always, until next time, cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out A Drink With Crazy. And I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you to check out my Gilded community and my adrinkwithcrazy.locals.com. That's the best way that you can interact with what I am trying to build here. And that is a passionate group of people that are trying to tell good stories and bring back the fantastic, well, culture that we all grew up and loved. So see you all next time.